Hi there guys, Comrade Hughes here with another episode of Boris TV. Today we're going to be looking at transitions in Boris Continuum Complete for Resolve 11. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here is go to the color page, and I've already enabled it, but I'm just going to drag and drop on from my effects library, the FX browser. And then the next thing to do is to click the FX browser button to launch it. This is going to be able to let me take a look through if I select the transitions here in the folder. Uh, and then go back to presets and we can have a look through all of the different transitions um, as we go through. So we've got these this burnt film transition here which would be great for more you know slightly horror type thing this is a video slideshow which i'm sure a lot of video freelancers out there are using and creating to uh generate income in some respects so okay here's the bcc blobs wipe a kind of cartoonish nice family friendly transition in this case here and you'll note as i drag the slider through it plays the transition uh this blur dissolve here one of my favorites that I'm going to be using for this is the checker wipe, which I'll get to just shortly. You see it here. So my checkered wipe here, this is the default with no gradient. You can see it opens and we've got a number of different presets. This is the, there we go. That's nice. So for this uh, video, what I'm going to do is just try and stay classy. I don't want the transitions to be too flashy, but the client does like a lot of them. Um, so in this case, my chap here, Clay Smile, who's an entertainer, um, he sends me his photos and I, I create for him a slideshow. So uh, the crisscross wipe is another thing I really enjoy. There's the Damage TV Dissolve. Now this Damage TV Dissolve is great for, um, again, sort of a horror type effect. Really, really uh, drastic transition, this one. And obviously it'd be out of place in most video slideshows, but it's something worth looking at because you can clearly do a lot with it. Uh, things like changing the saturation throughout the transition. And here's my Film Glow Dissolve, which I like as well. It's pretty classy. Uh, I also enjoy the Tritone Dissolves 2 and the Vector Blur. So what I'm going to be using for this tutorial is a combination of some of the, the grid wipes, the crisscross wipe, and the tile wipe, along with some of the more film-based dissolves. So I'll close the FX browser having achieved what I want from it, which is to find out a list of what I need. And in Resolve, uh, make sure that you've got the toolbox open, this orange button here. And as we scroll up and down, the open FX uh, panel will show all of the applicable effects here, which is, of course, of course just transitions here. Also, open your inspector, because that's going to allow us to, once we select the transition, edit the presets and edit the other styles as well. I'm just going to zoom in there. And as I go, you want to be clicking on uh, Open FX. There we go. And now I can select from a number of different presets. So, okay. The one that I really enjoyed though was the Vertical Lines L2R because it just um, just feels nice. So there's a number of different things we can do here. The Ribbon Count, that's the Ribbon Count 1, so that's the smaller ribbons. And the Ribbon Count 2 to make a number of additional ribbons there. So as you can see, they're just overlaying over each other and that's how the transition is working. We can change the direction, we can change the softness, can change the relative angle and the ribbon offsets, uh, different gradients. Okay, so one other thing I wanted to show you, the animation tuning. If we choose to show the graph, we can see how the animation uh, comes through. So uh, we can pick something logarithmic or something a little bit more linear. In this case, I'm just going to apply an S-curve. It's not of massive importance for this video to uh, amend the animation tuning graph, but for those of you using the transitions and really wanting to get that, that fine tuning down, um, the animation tuning graph is a great way to visualize how the transition is going to come in and go out. So, okay, I'm going to now just uh, use something from the perspective uh, panel, which is the page wipe. Um, this is pretty cool as well. You can apply some shadows to it. In this case, um, the top down is a little bit drastic for what I want. So what I'm going to do is just select the bottom up. As you can see, 
There we go. So the from bottom dot bsp and let's have a look at some of the others we could use. There's the straight down, uh, the left to right roll, which is controlled by the direction. But for now, let's just use the from bottom. As you can see, we can change the flap radius, um, the direction as well we can change. And we can change our offset, the amount of light, the shadow, and then there we go. That's it for that one. So, okay, I'm happy with that. I'm going to move on to the next transition. I'm going to take in one of these wipes here. Let's have a look. So I'm going to be using this grid wipe for the next transition. And now at this point, basically, I'm just going through each photo, making sure that as I apply these transitions, um, nothing weird is going to happen. You know, make sure that everything does look um, exactly as normal. I do really like the, um, the shadows that we get with this transition as well. So what I'm going to do here is just, okay, we could just select a nice ninja transition there if we wanted to. In this case, not appropriate for the uh, context. So I'm going to be using this uh, diagonal DD here. Okay, I like the way that that is uh, embossed into the frame. And as I go through to my uh, already existing slideshow here, I'll pop on a tritone dissolve there. There we go, nice and warm. Really like that warmth. I'm going to use a tire wipe for the next one. And as we go through, there we go, there's my tire wipe. Again, a number of different things we could do here. What I'm going to do uh, for the next then is the raise wipe. And I do really like how warm you can make this. Uh, warm rays and what I'm going to do is just change that hue uh, overall. The hue and the saturation are controllable if you don't want to colorize each individual ray or set of rays. So we could move that to cool but in this case I'm going to move it to a really warm kind of um, magenta there. What we have next up is I'm just going to toss a uh, grid wipe on to the next one so kind of keeping in the theme with the rest of the stuff uh, while just being slightly different enough to keep the client pleased which is of course the most important thing and then what i'm going to do for the final transition here is put on my crisscross wipe and i'm going to make the eight across hard setting there and that makes me happy just to watch so i'm going to get that one in place there we go and with this, pretty happy. I don't really need to change any of the settings because I'm really happy with what I have. Um, I think it looks great. And I have a series of transitions that are classy, not too flashy or drastic or anything like that. And here you can see the final product. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I've been Comrade Hughes for Boris TV, and I will speak to you next time.